Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new uh, paint and talk. And this time I want to, to talk, to give my point of view on the topic of the week. Uh, I started this week by Vince Venturella and it's uh, to talk about diversity and in, to be inclusive in, other, in our community. And I have to say that yeah, I, I was a little bit shocked when I go and went <coughs> to some of the links from Vince Venturella and I realized that this community maybe is not as inclusive as I was expecting. So yeah, the first thing I want to do is I I know that when we go to tournaments, we go to any convention, most of the people that we find there are men, are white men. This is the big, the big majority. And I don't think that this is good or this is bad, it's just a fact. Okay? But we have to think, and, and I don't think we need to force diversity. So diversity should come by the people wanting to, to come into this hobby. But for me what is very important is to be uh, inclusive, to really have our arms open to new people, to be wel a welcoming community. And for me what was shocking is that it's not always the case. N not shocking, but I was surprised that there is people that can feel harassed in, 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 in this community, especially he, uh, she was talking about uh, the, the online community. Okay. So I think as I, I want to be part and I'm proud, I'm, I have to say I'm proud of being part of this community. I'm really proud of being part of the Wargaming community and I, it's a community that I really enjoy and I have a lot of support and I really yeah, I think it's, it's, it's for me deserve a lot of um, it's deserve it to spend a lot of time. But I also think that there is always room for improvement. Okay, when something like that happens, I think we need to analyze if all what we do is the right way to do it, or if we can improve. And this uh, I like to to use this in all my aspects in the lives. So and when you f when you have the feeling that some people don't feel uh, don't don't feel welcoming. They don't feel that we are inclusive. We have to analyze why is that, and we have to take actions and this if to correct it or to be better on that point. And especially if you uh, in a community that is so small, and I think we should be as inclusive and we should embrace diversity as much as we can. So what I would say is yeah. All these uh, little jokes that we do so sometimes openly on free spaces, you have to be, I don't say that you cannot be natural and you cannot be as you want to be, but you have to understand the consequences. Some people may be offended by things that uh, you maybe are not offended or you find natural. I will say, let me put myself as an example. I, I will say that uh, in, this, in the Wargaming community, I'm quite uh, in. I'm quite lucky because I'm part of the, I would say the average people. Uh, any joke that is done, depend uh, most likely will not impact me, and and I'm an easygoing. So even if they joke about my country, to be fair, I don't care too much. But there is people that can, uh, is not that uh, that open, or they feel more. Uh, yeah, they they feel more attached, or they feel they have harder feelings to some of these aspects. So we have to be careful when we talk, depending on what topics, on, not that we cannot talk or when we do jokes, we have to understand that may, there is people that may not understand the jokes or may dislike these jokes. And these jokes, even harder, maybe are hurting them. So. I understand with your friends there is not this problem, but when you are in a wider range of people on a big community, you have to be more careful of these aspects. And I, I will just say the next. So we have to work, and I think this is to have this community as inclusive as possible, to be to uh, open the arms to any person that is coming to this community and have interest for this hobby. Uh, I know that sometimes we complain that there is no woman, and our community will come into woman. 
uh, I, I'm sure that there is a difference, of course, um, of interest with uh, a lot of people and, and in general terms, women tend to have different interests than the men. Although we have, we can have a lot of uh, commune or the same type of, of uh, hobbies. What I mean here is, once a person uh, uh, that is not the, the standard and put this into brackets uh, to this community is coming, are we really prepared to, to welcome these people and to feel them as part of the community or because there is a big majority of type of people in this community it's hard for these people to, to feel integrated and I think it's a thing we have to and I will uh, really thinking about that because uh, yeah I think we have to it's, we, we are in a very niche community and very niche hobby not a lot of people might feel interested on the, on painting plastic miniatures and I really want that any person that have any interest feel uh, this community welcoming and uh, it's willing to enjoy this community because he feel very welcoming and I have to say I never had any issue I'm really proud of this community I'm very happy to be part of this community but when I was yeah I, I was aware of the of this of, of this person that didn't feel that welcome within our community I feel a little bit sad because I thought okay as a community we have failed there and we need to improve that's that is all, all just my reflection I don't ask anybody to change I just ask that the people have to be aware of the consequences of, of the things that we do and uh, we have to think, we have to be conscious of what is the direction that we want to go. If we want to be inclusive and we uh, and be a welcoming community uh, or if you don't want it, this is just choice. Uh, from my point of view, I want this community to be as inclusive as possible, as welcoming as possible and yeah, I hope in future I can even do better to be more inclusive, uh, to be more opening and to help more people to enjoy this hobby because there is a lot of un, yeah, un knowledge so a lot of people don't know anything about this hobby they don't understand this hobby they feel that we are jerk, nerd or strange people but at the end I think when you start enjoying maybe the gaming, maybe the painting maybe the artistic art, maybe the, the storytelling you you can there is so many aspects of this hobby that I I will really love that more people will uh, uh, would enjoy this this type this hobby and I think that's all for for now I don't want to keep rambling just interrogate yourself think uh, it's more just a self reflection a self thinking where you want to go uh, where what is your vision of this community and how you can work to improve this community and especially think this time about inclusiveness are we really an inclusive community or sometimes uh, we are not doing well our job our uh, yeah so that's all for now sorry if uh, if it was a little bit uh, special topic this time I just wanted to give my point of view about the topic started by Vin Venturella uh, yeah I have to thank you Again, all this community for the big support I having um, doing the, my uh, on my channel. I cannot complain a single word from my point of view, but as I say, there is always room for improvement. As usual, please leave your comment below. Let me know what do you think. Uh, yeah, and like if you like it. Uh, please, if you dislike this video for any reason. Give me the, the why, because this is an important topic and I, I, I really interest it. If you don't agree or you dislike my comments, please just let me know why. Why do you like it? And, and we can have a, a very uh, nice chat about that. So for now, that's all. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you in later. Bye.